Heather and Matthew. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of a man and a woman. We come amid all kinds of upheaval, yet we come to know that love grounds us that love goes beyond all the chaos and confusion and uncertainty and love grounds us in the love of God and in the love of one another. God has ordered the covenant of marriage that husband and wife may give to each other companionship, help and comfort both in prosperity and in adversity that God may hallow the expression of natural affections and that children may be born and nurtured in families and trained in godliness. And this is how we come together in community. We come supporting and uplifting one another in all the trials and tribulation. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this beautiful day. We give you thanks that in all the chaos around us, we can take a few moments to celebrate the depth of your love, to celebrate the depth of your love for both Heather and Matthew, and to celebrate the love that they share with one another. God, we ask you to be with them, to bless them, and to unite them through and through that they may know and feel secure in not only your love, but in the love they have for one another. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. So God has called you to the covenant of marriage. Before God and all the people gathered, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter into this new relationship and to share all its joys and sorrows, whatever the future may hold. Matthew, will you have this woman to be your wife? to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? And Heather, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. And to the families gathered here, we have the parents. Do you, promise, do you come to offer your prayerful blessing and loving support to this marriage? If so, please say, we do. We, we do. do. And you may either stay standing or you may sit down, whichever you'd like. And to all those out and about, do you come to offer your prayerful blessing and loving support to this marriage? If so, please wave and say, I do. I do. And now we would like to read um, 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So at this time, I invite you to face one another. You can hold each other's hands if you'd like. And you repeat after me. I, Matthew, take you, Heather. I, Matthew, take you, Heather. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. 
and Heather. I, Heather, take you, Matthew. I, Heather, take you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. And does somebody have the rings? Oh. All right, we're going to do a little blessing on these rings. By these symbols of covenant promise, gracious God, remind Matthew and Heather of your uncertainly love and unending faithfulness, that on all their life together they may know joy and peace in one another. Amen. And if you hold her left hand, can you repeat after me? Heather, I give you this ring. Heather, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Matthew, I give you this ring. Matthew, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Heather and Matthew, you are husband and wife with the blessing of Christ Church. Be merciful in all your ways, kind in heart and humble in mind. Accept life and be most patient and tolerant with one another. Forgive as freely as God has forgiven you and above everything else, be truly loving. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, remembering that as one body you are called to live in harmony. And never forget to be thankful for what God has done for you. And may God add blessings to you and to the covenant and to your promises this day and forevermore. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we thank you for your tender love. And today we thank you for the love of Matthew and Heather. May your love be upon them this day and forevermore. Pour out the abundance of your blessing on them. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work, in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their death. We pray this in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go forth in the love of God. Go forth in hope and joy, knowing that God is always with you. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God and of Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let me kiss the bride. <laughs> Yes, I'm in it. I'm in it.
<laughs> yeah, good luck to you guys. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Melanie. Very nice. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. Everyone grab a drink and drink. It's really, really beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you just want to give you a hug. <laughs>